Hi, welcome to Easy Gluten Free and Me. Today we'll be doing the haul that I'm sure you'll have been seeing happening a lot, Trader Joe's. It's pumpkin season, they have gluten-free stuff. Of course we're gonna check it out. I normally, I actually don't really go to Trader Joe's, um, so I really don't know what to expect at all, but I'm excited. Apparently there's things like pumpkin bread or pumpkin pancakes, I really want that. So I'm looking forward to it. Also, I have a gluten-free chocolate chip pumpkin cookie for you. Thank you so much. Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> store when you're hungry isn't the best especially for me because I just get cranky and I just want to eat everything <laughs> here's my general haul um, there actually weren't as many gluten-free things as I thought there would be a lot of pumpkin things a lot of you know typical stuff but not as much gluten-free as I would hope but I still think this is a pretty good haul to sustain me for a while so here are all of the pumpkin things that I found and then I got a few extra fun things I might try later. Like, I have no idea what this is. Uh, puffed peanuts and corn snacks with hazelnut cream filling. Yes, please. I will try this. Uh, it's a sticker deal. Things we're, we'll maybe get to later. Let's first, I want to try the pumpkin butternut squash bisque because I am very hungry and this is an easy thing to start with. Mm. It mostly smells like carrots, actually. <laughs> In a good way? Sure. <laughs> I've never really had a soup that's mostly just broth. Like this one is, besides the miso soup. Um, but it does smell nice. Again, kind of like carrots, but it's still nice. There's a mixture of carrots and squash and things like that in it. But let's see. Whoa. It's good, but surprising. No pumpkin, a lot of carrot. Definitely a lot of carrot. <laughs> this is false advertising. It almost has a little hint of spice in it. There is um, some ginger in this. This is nice. I dipped in a tortilla chip in there, and that was really nice. So, I mean, you can't really lose with this kind of stuff. I'm very excited for this. How does it smell? Mm. It smells really good. <laughs> it's a bit denser than I expected. But how fun is that? A little cardboard a container. She's thick. She's thick. Ooh. Okay. 
very dense. Scale one to ten. Six and a half. Okay, fair. Not better. Um, it's very chewy. It's very soft. There's a nice sweetness to it that kicks in a little bit later. Um, but this, I can definitely enjoy this. This is pretty nice. So this is pumpkin spice spice. Excuse me. Pumpkin spice covered uh, espresso beans. I'm not a coffee person. Uh, caffeine just makes my heart race. It doesn't actually make me feel awake, so that's not a good combination. Um, but this, I'm intrigued for this combination. I've had it before. It's not like crazy caffeine. Okay, is but it, is it, it good? It's good. It definitely tastes like coffee, but you don't feel the caffeine kick. At least okay. I didn't. Yeah, I mean, you know, cause I know there's like that, uh, like the, the fall Starbucks pumpkin spice trend. I've never had it because and they Duncan. just don't really. And Duncan. <laughs> um, I never really had it because I just don't drink coffee, so like I'm, I don't I don't go to Starbucks basically. Oh my God. You can't have. It's very interesting. So kind of reminds me of those like Harry Potter like jelly bean things. <laughs> it is an intense coffee flavor, like I said, mm. but I love them. I had the regular chocolate. I haven't had the pumpkin spice yet. See, I always love the smell of coffee. Like when you go into like a Barnes & Noble that has a Starbucks, that's always really nice because then you get the, just the aroma and everything. And these are actually really nice. Like they, I, these are actually really nice. So I really like bagels. I typically get, um, I typically get Udi's gluten-free plain bagels and then I'll toast it and then I like to put Nutella on it. That's my type of bagel. But I was really curious about trying the pumpkin bagels. Now, I don't have any of my Nutella or hazelnut spread alternatives with me right now, else I would try that. I'm also trying a whole lot of other stuff, so I'm not gonna go through the house of toasting it. I'm just gonna take a bite, let you know how it is. It smells really nice. It's like the fresh bagel, but then also just the hint of the pumpkin spices. So, I mean, this isn't the most delicate way. I'm just gonna take a bite. <laughs> I'm going on a journey. It's nice, it's soft, a little bit sweet. It's okay. I feel like this is something that I do need to toast and try with like a spread. <laughs> but I, it also feels nice. Like it, it, it also kind of tastes like a normal bagel, which is like a little hint of something else. So I do think this is a win and I will be eating these. Up next we have pumpkin spice granola bark with dark chocolate and pumpkin seeds in it. Um, don't really know what to expect. I've never really had pumpkin seeds before, but I mean, granola is always good, especially when you can find it that's gluten free. So there's these nice little chunks. Take a look at that. It's got the pumpkin seeds, the dark chocolate, the granola. I know. Hello. <laughs> uh, let's see. very chewy, very dense. It's definitely a much more dense granola. When I do have granola bars, I don't really like them to be so dense. Like that's like that joke, Nature Valley, how they're just like, you're just crumbling. Um, but the dark chocolate's really nice. No pumpkin flavor. There's the pumpkin seeds, but I mostly just tasted the dark chocolate on that one and I'm not complaining about that. So I'm a sucker for tortilla chips. So of course I had to try out the pumpkin ones. Uh, this, it's made with pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So, um, it's a tortilla chip, so let's try it out. It's nice. It tastes like a pretty standard tortilla chip, if you get like, um, tostitos. Uh, but there is a nice sweetness to it that I do appreciate that I can definitely go to town on. <laughs> Okay, so we also, or Aaron got apple cider fruit spread. I'm not really a fruit or jam spread type of person, but first time for everything. Um, so I guess I'm gonna use the pumpkin bread. I don't know if this will be too, too much. Yeah, it's a thick boy. It's a lot more than I was expecting. You just go for it? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, and then you spread it on. 
Weird. <laughs> Never had a jam or a jelly, honestly. <laughs> Too, too much. Not too better. much? I think this would be better on like a plain bread. This was just, it was a lot of, a lot of spices. I mean, this was an interesting flavor at first because it's apple cider. Well, I should clarify. I don't really like apple cider. Okay. Brute. I mean, it's not bad. Huh? It's nice. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll like it. You can go ahead and try it, um, but I'm okay. <laughs> I don't like gummy candies, but Erin got these, and she is going to report on how well they are. These? Let me tell you. Okay, so first, the purple ones. Super delicious, great flavor. They do have an orange. I'm not a big fan of the orange flavor in gummy candies, but it was delicious. The green, too. Super delicious, but since Taylor won't try it, it'll just be between us. <laughs> so I couldn't resist myself, and I did get sleek Rodeo cookies. Uh, I really am just like a chocolate person, but I've started to try different secret secret doodle cookies when I get the chance. Obviously, I need to be gluten free. Um, I did already have one. Like I said, on the drive home, I was very hungry, so I had one, and it's really nice. It's really it's spicy. It's it's re it's really soft. I would definitely recommend this if you want to try this. And lastly, I really want to try whatever the hell this is. <laughs> it's gluten free, so I'm very curious. The packaging is also interesting. Huh. Uh, oh. It feels like a moist packing peanut. Whoa. Definitely more peanut buttery than I was expecting. I really went through a journey. It's like a wafer. Like, you know, if you ever have those wafer cookies, it's a nice, like, kind of fluffiness that you bite into for a second, but then you always hit with the leg. Hazelnut, chocolate, peanut butter, bam! <laughs> uh, it just it went through a lot real quick. That's like, but it's nice. This is a little snack. There's a lot in there. Um, this is something that I will either destroy in five minutes without realizing and feel really bad about, or I'll forget it exists and then it'll go bad. So I'm making the pancake mix. This it's very flimsy. This is the batter. It's very watery. I've added in more dry mix than it's said to. I don't know what happened. I'm a, I'm a pancake person. I don't know what happened. I'm sure it tastes fine. Obviously, I added in chocolate chips. Uh, but Trader Joe's, what are you doing to me? These are the lamest pancakes I've ever seen. They, so let me talk about my experience of trying to make it. The, the, I followed the ingredients exactly, the, and the instructions exactly. The batter was super liquidy, and then it was just difficult to even like flip the pancakes. Now obviously we added in some chocolate chips and some, what was it, sea salt caramel yeah. chocolate chips. So uh, like, I'm sure it tastes fine. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> uh, when I eat pancakes, I like them to be thick. This, it's you know, it's fine. It just was super strange, and I was very aggravated trying to cook it. That's so thin. But let's see. I mean, yeah, it's like it's fine. A little slimy in a way. Let's try the fun. See, look at that. It's like paper. <laughs> Let's try the more funner options. So we got this bit with some chocolate chip in it. Whenever I make pancakes, I make them with chocolate chips. Mm. Oh, the Ooh, the chocolate chip's really good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's really nice. Let's see, the sea salt caramel one. Right? That's sea salt. <laughs> And these are the chocolate chips you got at Trader Joe's, right? Yeah. Get the sea salt caramel chocolate chips. That's really good. So uh, here are the muffins. We added in chocolate chips and the sea salt caramel chocolate chips. And they look amazing. Way better than the disappointment of the pancakes. They just need to cool and then we'll have a little taste test. But they smell great and I'm very excited for them.
hurry. I've cut them up a little bit. They're still very hot. Uh, but I'm gonna try first the one with the sea salt caramel chocolate chip. Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a cool a little bit more, but it's really good. Mm. All right, so now I'm gonna try the one with the chocolate chip. It's cooled down a little bit more. It smells really nice, like a nice warm pumpkin flavor. I just like got the pool like melted chocolate. <laughs> mm. These are win. This mix also can make pumpkin bread in general. Or we did muffins. Um, but I definitely recommend that. Alright, so we've tried all the pumpkin things. This was a brand new experience for me. Erin and I were discussing how she could eat pumpkin her entire life and never be disappointed or sad or sick of it. I'm a little okay, you know. It's like I've had a long week. It's Friday night, I'm feeling a bit of a sugar pumpkin high, which is new for me. Uh, I don't really have pumpkin stuff that much. I am a chocolate person. But, you know, this was a night, this was fun to try. So, top of the line, muffins, the best, definitely. Um, these chips were really nice. Definitely would go really good with salsa. Once I have some salsa, I will go to town on these. Um, these little espresso beans, they were nice. Not an espresso person, but they were very nice. I recommend. I'm sure the bagels would be good when I toast it. I have to give a little update on my Instagram once I finally try them with some hazelnut spread. The pumpkin bread, denser than I would like, but still very nice. This is a nice treat. We don't talk about this. <laughs> Granola was nice, definitely recommend that. Uh, the bisque, the little soup, that was actually really good. That's really perfect for like a nice like rainy day. You're sitting up on your couch, you're getting all cozy. It's, it's really good. Definitely recommend that. And then lastly, not really a pumpkin thing, but they taste like Reese's or like Nutter Butters. They're, they're, they're good. I would get them. Go for it. So I know this is obviously a video a lot of people tend to do around this time of year, but do they focus specifically on the gluten-free? Probably. I just don't watch it. <laughs> uh, but this was a very fun thing to try. I've, I have been very curious. I really like going to stores and seeing what gluten-free free things they have. Especially since I don't really go to Trader Joe's, so I I might try to go to them more frequently. When we were in the store, I saw some other like frozen dinners and things like that that I thought were pretty interesting to try. There was like egg noodles, uh, interesting soups. I have another soup in the fridge that I'm excited to try later on, and a cauliflower pizza crust. So you know, let me know what are your favorites. Have you tried the gluten free stuff? Did you have better luck with the pancake mix? Did I just like really mess up somehow? Let me know. As always. Follow me on all the socials, and I'll see you next time. Do you want pumpkin treats?